Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand distinct, the keyword distinct in SQL. The distinct statement is used to return only different values of a column or group of columns. So whenever we want to know the different values, the value different values in a column, then the distinct is very much helpful. So what does that mean when, when, when we are going to use it is, so for example, if you want to know the different types of salary figures that the company is giving to the, uh, giving to the students. So for students, there will not be any salary. So just assume that, uh, 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 students are paid with some in uh, some salary or a scholarship and this we want to find the different distinct numbers di <coughs> different values of salaries that is provided by the uh, university to the students so for that to happen we have the we have the uh, keyword called distinct so distinct salary from students so with this what we're going to get uh, what are the distinct salaries that we have there are different duplicate values of the same values duplicate uh, values are all uh, 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 are there in the salary column so this is our salary column so what are the duplicate values 300 if you take 300 300 is repeated two times 400 uh, if you take 400 400 is repeated two times again 500 500 is repeated two times so these are the duplicate values the distinct values are 100 200 without repetitions only uh, one single value distinct values we are going to get 400 500 uh, uh, 500 and the next one is 600 so these are the distinct salary values and if you take uh, select distinct sex so it is going to be obvious we are going to have only two values one is uh, male and the other one is female okay and similarly we can also apply this distinct to two columns two or more columns not only two columns two or more columns here we are applying distinct on salary and sex so how it is going to get that so it is going to combine both these columns and from these columns the, the distinct values are identified for example if you take male 100 it is a distinct value so is it repeated elsewhere so it is going to be a distinct value so this is our uh, distinct value and female 200 so any female 200 no so this uh, this is a, a distinct value okay and male 300 so are there any male 300 here male 300 is repeated so this value is so this value is distinct value uh, male 300 is distinct value but this duplicate will not be repeated again okay so it is going to combine both these columns the values of both these columns and from those it is going to obtain the distinct values male 300 and f 400 is a distinct value male 500 is a distinct value male 500 again repeating male 400 is a distinct value and f 600 is a distinct value okay so uh, out of these how many are there uh, nine nine rows are there we are going to select how many will get selected how many distinct uh, values of uh, sex and salary will get selected two are discarded so these these values will not be discarded because they are duplicates okay so the duplicates will not be discarded so the distinct values are going to be seven out of nine out of nine seven are the distinct value and all these values will get printed so this is how the distinct will work let's try to execute this on our computer and see how the outputs will get displayed so this is our table uh, the same table and nine rows selected distinct of salary so what are the distinct values of salary distinct values of salary are 400 200 300 600 500 and 100 and similarly if you take uh, and you want to print these values display these values in uh, 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 in ascending order or descending order we can do it so we have already discussed that can be done by using uh, order by so in our previous video we have discussed if you haven't watched that please watch that video and uh, we would like to do uh, distinct values of sex it is going to be male and female okay and similarly two columns distinct value values of 
salary and sex so combining if you give three columns combining all those uh, values which is going to be the distinct value that that will get the those those distinct values will get uh, obtained on the display okay so let's try to see this see here how many seven rows got selected so those are the two rows which uh, which we have uh, seen before okay so these are the seven distinct values uh, this is all about distinct hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching